Welcome everybody to the Sin Adventure. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz. And today we have Cuddles, a registered, certified scent specialist on board today. Guys, we are doing five men's fragrances that I would not recommend and I would not buy again. These are all going to be found at your rack store and I am not recommending you ever buy them. We're going to jump right into it for Sashi's The Dreamer. This is going to make number five and uh, you know this one's kind of maybe you might like it. it. It might be something that you might enjoy but at $40 for this bottle, man I've barely used any of it. The first couple sprays, I mean the atomizer is going to be the best out of all of the ones we're looking at today in the video. That was pretty good spray. Your first opening scent is like this vanilla, little spice. It's kind of got this little dreamy, airy uh, feel to it. Like you're, you're dreaming out in the stars, right? But then it dries down and hits you with this soap scent and it just, that's what you get. It doesn't last long, it doesn't project, it's not unique. The bottle's cool. Sometimes I'll put it up there and let the light shine through it, but it's gonna make number five on today's list. Coming in at number four is Burberry Touch. Man, this is uh, disappointing. We'll, we'll give it a spray. Look at that. Um, it's, it's like nothing. We'll spray a little on here. I mean, it's sharp, harsh. It's clean, kind of fresh. It doesn't last very long. It's, I just don't, I just don't see the appeal in this. I mean, there's a, a little bit of niceness, a little bit of neatness there, but no, not interested. Barely even used it. Yeah, we'll, we'll skip on that one, guys. Number three, we're gonna do Isimiyaki's Poor Ohm. I don't know what they were doing here. Look at that little. What is that? This is it nothing? Spray right here. I mean, it's like trying to be lemon. It's trying to be something. I don't know what they're going for here. It's not even worth explaining, to be honest. Don't get it, okay? Do not buy that. Guys, make it number two. Is this Hugo Boss just different? Um, It's not different enough. Oh, that atomizer's not bad. Here, let's, uh, what, what arm do we have here? Okay, we get... We get something, it, you know, these aren't bad fragrances. You're not gonna be like, blah, start puking and stuff. Well, maybe this Isimaki, that one's kind of meh. But they're not special, they're not unique. Flat, powdery, not spicy enough, not different enough. Number two, guys, number one, Calvin Klein One Shock. Do not buy this, look at this bottle. It's garbage. A painted bottle. You can twist off the atomizer. It comes with a cap. You gotta like put together the fragrance thing yourself. Let's see this thing. Oh, I mean, that's kind of a burst. Let's throw a little bit right there. All right, the first little bit, strong with the alcohol scent. Almost burns the nose. Feels like it wants to go in a spicy direction. Feels like it wants to go fresh. And then now it's kind of flattened out. I got it like a, a tortilla scent in the background going on. Like it feels like a, a like a flour tortilla with, with some like a very light cinnamon sugar spice on top and it's synthetic all right guys that is it that is that's the lineup i wish i never had bought these i'd never recommend these to anybody else ever if i took that amount of money that i spent on all of these i could have a way better fragrance and enjoy it a lot more Guys, let me know if you've tried any of these, if you own any of these, if you're going to buy any of these. This is just my opinion. This video is just for fun. And uh, that's basically it. What are your five do not recommend fragrances? Let us all know in the comments down below. You know what to do. You like, you share, you subscribe. Cuddles and I will see you on the next adventure. And peace.